What's going on guys, my name is Joshua Daniel George. I own a social media marketing agency here in the Netherlands. And other than that, I also have my own online course called Lifestyle Design Mastery, where I show people how to build a wildly profitable online business. With that said, this video is gonna be dedicated to like hacks, tips, and tricks that I use to stay as productive as possible and to get the most things done in the shortest amount of time. And with that said, um, what I see a lot of people doing is like they, with that in mind, they want to do as much as possible, you know, take on as many projects as possible and just like cram in as much as possible in the shortest amount of time because they think that is the most productive way to do things. What I've actually been like doing lately is just picking three projects to work on each and every month okay so for the month of march um time recording this is march 2019 um, the three projects for me are uh, online training slash webinar for my course it's scaling brandpreneur my social media marketing agency and also revamping my youtube channel so what i want to do with my youtube channel is post more consistent because now i'm doing it once a week and i want to maybe do like two three times a week you know really get like a momentum going with youtube with the online training I want to give people like an introduction into like what is lifestyle design mastery, what can you learn with it, you know, what kind of results have already been uh, achieved by people that have bought the course, and uh, you know, what can you expect uh, from the course if you get it in terms of like the community, the like what what kind of modules and stuff like that. And in terms of my business, uh, like I said, really do want to scale brand in my agency. What we're trying to do now is to take on more people that are um experts in terms of like facebook ads e-commerce ads google ads all stuff like that because we know that we can get a lot of new clients but for that we do need to make sure that our results are on point um our current team now is sort of at its max so we need to take on more people uh, you know build out the team a bit more to take on more clients so those are my like three big projects for this month and by only doing or only having three projects every single month three focus points it's much easier to achieve those things and really go all in on those things whereas uh, in the past you know i've been trying to do a million things at once and i just noticed that you can't really get the ball rolling with any of those things because there's too many things to focus on there's too many little side projects like obviously uh, on a day-to-day -day basis i do have things that i need to get done you know coaching calls uh, focus on my personal brand instagram stories uh, posts on instagram uh, consultation calls you know picking up the phone talking to clients stuff like that like but on a, on a uh, helicopter scope you know helicopter view when you look at what i'm doing it is mostly you know one of those three things it is either uh, my course the agency or my personal brand okay so that is like the first uh, big tip second tip is to use either apple calendars or google calendars to map out all the things that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis okay so what i mostly do is on sundays mostly um i make sure that everything that needs to get done that week is in my calendar so i can actually see you know on a week overview you know what needs to get done this week uh, what type of week is going to be it's going to be a week where a lot of calls or a lot of coaching calls client calls is going to be a week where i'm filming a lot of content is a week that i'm not in the office like my home office as much um, as like other weeks stuff like that and to make it easier for myself to see that is because i also color code everything that needs to get done so i've got free time i've got my personal brand i've got work and meetings stuff like that everything is color coordinating that makes it easier for me to see what type of week it's going to be then on a day-to-day -day basis i have my normal to-do list which I purposely write uh, on paper. So in a little notebook, I've just got like a moleskin type uh, notebook, write down every single thing that needs to get done that day or what I wanna get done that day. Why do I keep that separate? Because there's something about you know, writing it down physically, pen on paper, having a little uh, box that you can cross off once you've completed that, uh, that task or you know, once you've completed your to-do list and you can see all the, the boxed off things. It, you know, it just gives you a good feeling and a sense of achievement. And I think you, know, you don't really have that with Apple calendars or Google calendars and stuff like that. So that is why I keep those separate. That is why I sort of um, copied the things that I need to get done that day onto like a physical paper notebook and like I said, you know, it's been one of my like hacks for being productive 
and you know ever since i've been doing this i've gotten so much more done with that said another thing that i also do to make sure that i procrastinate the least and be as uh, productive as i can be is by numbering the tasks that i've got so let's say for example i've got 10 tasks on my to-do list i then give them all a number uh, in order that i want to do them in so then i'm not constantly looking at what shall i do next because it's already numbered so once you finish task one you go on to task two and i don't even look at task three four and five just yet because you know first task two needs to get finished and then from there i move on to task number three okay so now we've talked about the goals we've talked about like the to-do list and the the tasks on a day-to-day -day basis now i want to talk about habits you know as an entrepreneur or as someone that is really big on self-improvement you know you're always trying to uh, push the boundaries you know create new habits create better habits get rid of old habits or stuff like that and an app that i use to make sure that i stay on top of all this is called strides so strides is literally just a habit tracking app and uh, you know you can create like streaks mini streaks you can also set goals for yourself so you know i've got a couple of them um one of the main ones is obviously the limit caffeine intake so for a while now i've actually been switching over from normal coffee to decaf and you know i want to make sure that i keep this up because i've noticed that i was very dependent on coffee uh, prior to this so now I focus on, you know, limiting the amount of caffeine that I get on a daily basis. Another thing that I like to do is also go for a morning walk. Why? Because I do aim for 10,000 steps a day and it is very hard to achieve that, you know, when you're just sitting down all day. And, you know, there's all little small um, habits and things that I want to get done on a daily basis. And for me, the easiest way to achieve all those things is by using the app Strides. And that is all I've got for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. Leave a comment down below with what kind of video you'd like to see from my channel next. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.